Now, we all know healthcare is top of mind right now because both in emerging markets and in developed markets, the costs are out of control. But there's this other issue. We're facing the fact that the populations are aging. The doctors are aging with them. So think about it. At a time when we most need doctor services, they're going to be retiring. That doesn't sound good. So we got to improve the productivity of the doctors that we have. And we need to do things that will help people stay healthy longer. How are we going to do that? Wireless is going to be able to provide people with real-time feedback about their health. Now, there are a bunch of different issues that have to be resolved along the way. One obviously major issue is getting the payers to pay for wireless devices and services. But in order to get that to happen, you actually need to show that this new treatment or device is actually beneficial. So we're working closely with the West Wireless Health Institute and Scripps Health. The institute was founded by the Gary and Mary West Foundation. It's the first medical research organization dedicated to advancing health through the use of wireless technologies. So we got another partner here. Please welcome the chief medical officer of the West Wireless Health Institute, a man that GQ magazine called one of the 13 rock stars of science, a great friend and a great partner of Qualcomm, Dr. Eric Topol. Wow. Great to be with you. Hey, thanks for being here, Eric. I really appreciate it. Well, as you've been introducing, this is an incredible time in medicine. Uh, medicine's going digital. And uh, you've been talking about a lot of gadgets, and I feel a little like an alien here at the consumer electronics. But in fact, uh, there's more things going on in this space. Yeah. In fact, the last decade that we just came out of was the digital uh, wireless device. This is the digital medical device decade we're going into. Cool. Consumers have been consumed by the healthcare economic crisis, but we can innovate out of that. And that's what I hope to be able to show you in just the next several minutes. There's a lot of devices. Uh, this is uh, one I'll show you about. Uh, they tracks all the vital signs. Uh, there's um, uh, obstetrics for high-risk pregnancy uh, through the smartphone. There's uh, measuring the electrocardiogram, of course, which as a cardiologist for 25 years, I never thought I'd see the day when I looked on the phone anywhere, a patient anywhere in the world. Uh, there's being able to measure calories going in and out throughout the day. Uh, and uh, these are all things like glucose every five minutes that uh, are all going to be here and now or within the next year. So these are, uh, this is the sleep uh, phases. I'll go through that very quickly in just a minute. And this all started with the fitness world, as uh, called out by uh, Wired on Wireless back in the summer. And this was a revolution that started, interestingly, with the Nike shoe. The Nike shoe is now in 1.4 million Americans, and it communicates through a body area network in the solar shoe uh, to the iPod or iPhone. And this is, of course, uh, a remarkable beginning in fitness, but it goes well beyond that. Uh, Fitbit. I'm coming over here. I got a bag. My I got my own medical bag. I loaded it up with a lot of these goodies of uh, gadgets for medicine. But this is for fitness. This is the Fitbit, and this is the Direct uh, Philips Direct Life. Yeah, and it's actually remarkable. They're wireless accelerometers. I know you exercise a lot, and I thought I did a lot, uh, but you know you need 10,000 steps a day. And after working really hard for 45 minutes, I only got to 5,000 steps. I say, oh my gosh, how are we going to do this? And so this is helping people using these devices and others like that to increase their physical activity. Now you just need to walk around the show floor a little bit. You'll get those 10,000 steps in. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. I'll have to get over there. Now, the, the other device that's really uh, kind of sees us uh, by storm, very surprising, is a sleep device made by Zio. You're a pretty good sleeper. Uh, usually, but you know, last night it's Vegas and all, so I'm, I'm not so sure I got great sleep last night. <laughs> oh, you look pretty well rested, uh, but it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. Yeah. And what we're learning is when you, when you can track every minute of sleep, uh, which phase you're in. So we can see a, a night of my sleep here. And each of those bars, going starting at about 11 at night and going into the morning, each bar uh, denotes the space of sleep whether it's a deep restorative sleep that we need the most of, or rapid eye movement, dream sleep, light sleep, or awake uh, state. And that can be a little dangerous uh, when you're awake 
and your spouse, as I've already experienced, you're trying to play possum, and she say, Eric, I know you're awake. My wife uh, here, Susan, says, I know you're awake, and she can tell just looking at your alarm clock what's going on. Well, what's really fascinating is you get an output in the morning when you wake up, you get a ZO score, how good you Z during the night, yeah. the quality. And uh, here's a week in my life, and just now this is going to be on a mobile device this year, yeah. and just when your office staff gets your, your bad score, they're going to know He's going to be a grump today. Uh, they're going to have it quantified. Moi? <laughs> yeah, I know it never happens well, to you. That's just in here. She's going to love this thing. I, I know it ha never happens to you, Paul. 